What's up, geeks, nerds, and all that line between? I'm just a common fan back with a new video, and today we're going to be talking about Marvel Spider-Man on PS4 and God. That's right. Um, I don't know if, you, if you've noticed this or not, but there are some clear religious messages from straight from the characters' mouths within the game of Marvel Spider-Man. Um, now, Spider-Man's comics have always flirted with religion in certain ways. It's never all been overtly blunt hitting you over the head with it, but if you're searching for it, it's there. But it could also be a case of it's there because you're searching for it. But within this game, the religious... Um, statements are directly in your face come from the mouths of two characters in particular and that's May Parker and Yuri Watanabe the cop who helps Spider-Man fight crime. Um, the first thing that I noticed is shortly after Martin Lee or Mr. Negative attacked uh, Norman Osborn at his press rally attempt to assassinate him um, and other people, many, many people died in the crosshairs, including Miles Morales' father. Uh, once Peter makes his way back to Thieves to check on Aunt May and they run into Martin Lee, uh, Aunt May makes an affirming religious statement of Peter's health and safety when it comes to being a part of that situation by simply saying the word, Amen. Now, if you are familiar at all with the Christian faith, you know that the term Amen is a, is a term used to affirm um, the existence and actions of God within the Christian faith. It can be used uh, while you're praying and when you end your prayer to God, you say amen as an acknowledgement, as a term of re respect and as a term of an endearment and love. Uh, you use it in conversation with other people who are a part of your religion. When you say stuff like, oh, well, you know, I almost got into a car accident, but God put me out of that amen. Or, oh, man, I was really, really sick, but, you know, now I'm feeling so much better. Amen. You are saying that in, in affirmation that whatever you're talking about, God had a hand in the positive results. Um, and to hear Aunt May say that, it's like, wow, it ushered the question, does Spider-Man believe in God? Does Peter Parker himself believe in God? And I have to say that maybe so. We don't have any religious uh, statements coming from Peter Parker himself, not that I can remember. I'm, I'm going to play the game again to see if I missed anything. But we do get it from May Parker on a couple of occasions. Unfortunately, that's the only one I can remember. I think that she brings up God when she's talking to Miles and Peter um, in the fee shelter, but I could be wrong about that. Uh, but I know she. there's other, at least one or two other times where May Parker brings up God and brings and showcases that she's a, a member of the Christian faith without it being direct and banging you over the head with it. Um, I'm actually really, really surprised kind of that a game that has this much crossover appeal that, you know, is the fastest selling uh, PlayStation exclusive of all time would include something like this. And, and I'm not offended by it at all. I'm just surprised that they weren't afraid that they were going to offend those who are not of the faith. Um, by including that within the game. But I think it kind of, if this statement makes sense, brings me back to a sense of reality within this world of fantasy. Because, you know, when you have a city going into chaos, a madman going around and, you know, ter being a terrorist pretty much and terrorizing people, criminals escaping from a prison, uh, um, you know, a band of, of criminal masterminds banding together to destroy a city, you would, depending on your faith, you would call out to God, you would pray, you would use these type of religious statements to gain power and to gain uh, faith and to gain hope within these circumstances. Um, and while I'm, I'm, I know that there's different uh, uh, denominations within the Christian faith, um, and, I, and I don't, couldn't point you into any direction of which one I think May Parker may be. I think it's pretty clear that she is a Christian who believes in God. Um, and since she's been raising Peter Parker since he was a young man, you have to imagine that she's raised him to follow in the footsteps of the faith that her, that she believed in and that possibly even Ben Parker believed in um, within raising Peter herself. And while Peter never um, comes right out with statements that could be seen as 
religious or about God, he often comes out with a positive attitude, a positive affirmation to May's words, and kind of an overall stronger or positive attitude coming out of that conversation or coming out of those statements than he did before, leading to the fact that he definitely gained some kind of perspective and strength and positivity from those words from his eyes. So I thought that was really, really cool. Also, there's a scene where uh, Spider-Man is about to go off and fight the um, the uh, uh, Sinister Six when you enter into those final four boss battles in the game. Um, and I can't remember if it was before he battled Vulture and Electro, before he battled Rhino and Scorpion. I can't remember where it falls in there. But he's having a conversation with Yuri about what's going on and how he's going to, you know, pick himself up and be strong and, and take down these bad guys. And Yuri simply ends the conversation with, keep the faith. Now, I do not have enough knowledge of Chinese culture uh, or Asian culture. And I'm sorry to be so broad, but I can't think off the top of my head. I think Yuri Watanabe is... Japanese, but I could be wrong, so I'm just going to say Asian culture and hope I don't offend anybody. Um, I'm not as familiar with their religious faiths to point you in any direction of what Yuri may or may not believe in, and keep the faith while it does allude to the fact that somebody who says that would believe in higher power, it doesn't necessarily say that they believe in God. So uh, I don't know if Yuri believes in God or if Yuri... Uh, believes in a different, uh, uh, what's the word I'm looking for, deity, but um, she definitely also, even as a cop, or especially as a cop, I should say, draws faith and power and hope from her religious views, which I think is really, really cool. And Spider-Man seemed very empowered after hearing Yuri say, use the term, keep the faith. Um, so, uh does Peter Parker believe in God? Does Spider-Man believe in God? Um, I would say so. Um, I don't think there's any struggle. I don't think he's contemplating it or thinking about it or maybe it's possible. I think Peter really, really does believe in God. And while it's not overt, it's not straight over the head, given the comments made by May Parker and Yuri, um, as well as Peter's responses to those comments, I would have to say that Peter is definitely definitely a believer of God. So tell me down at the bottom, what do you think about that? Am I just kind of reaching now for Spider-Man content or did you also notice those religious comments and undertones within the game? Um, also tell me, how do you feel about religion being placed in your video games? Whether you believe in God or not, that doesn't matter. Just tell me down below, what, what do you think? What are your thought processes of involving religion in any capacity within your video game narrative. Um, thank you guys so much for taking time to watch this quick video with me. Um, I really appreciate it. Um, please hit the subscribe button, hit the like button down below as well, and let me know uh, what you think about the video. Like I said, let me know what do you feel about religion being placed in your video game narrative. Um, I thought it was pretty cool and it kind of brought a little bit of reality to this world for me, but hey, what do I know? I'm just a common fan. No, no, no.